Nashville has really knocked on its heels during the recession. Megan has been integral to um, Carl Dean's agenda in putting that into place. Megan Berry really took a leadership role. Megan has been a great proponent of small business in Nashville, helping us grow and helping other small businesses grow and bringing more jobs to Nashville. She has the pulse of the people of Nashville. Megan has always had the courage to stand up for what she believes in. She stood out on the forefront of quality. She stood out on the forefront of women's issues. I especially like the way she's also protecting the rights of workers to make a, a fair living wage. And nobody in Nashville has done more for our most vulnerable populations than Megan. And I think that kind of bold but compassionate leadership is what Nashville needs. I came to go to Vanderbilt to get my MBA and I was going to stay 18 months and I didn't because I fell in love with Nashville. I fell in love with my husband. We've raised our family here. I got involved with my first, my neighborhood association, and then with my child's PTO. And nothing gets you more excited than when there's something happening in your neighborhood and people get mobilized. In 2007, I ran as a council member at large, and I ran countywide, and it was exciting, and I got to meet tons of people and see this county. We're very diverse. We have lots of different kinds of neighborhoods. Megan Berry, more than 20 years as a business ethics specialist in the private sector, a neighborhood leader and reformer who slashed political perks and worked to create a surging economy that includes everyone. There are lots of opportunities, but there's a lot of challenges as well. We have to get our public schools right. We have to get our transit right. I want to make sure that Nashville remains affordable for everybody. I'm running to be the next mayor of Nashville because I want to keep Nashville moving forward.